Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 2nd through the 8th. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. So Libra, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, very interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Wands. So travel could be significant for some of you. The Eight of Wands also represents communication. So news could be coming in suddenly for some of you. Uh, there also could be a lot of uh, text messages, a lot of emails going back and forth this week. But energetically speaking with the Eight of Wands, um, something that was stagnant or slow moving, you might see some sort of progress. You might see things starting to happen or things happening suddenly with the Eight of Wands. The overall energy is the devil. So this is interesting. We have the devil as the overall energy. So the devil can represent doing something in excess. So all things in moderation. Also, the devil can represent fear, so just, just try to stay positive. Uh, I did pull a clarifying card, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for a small number of Librans, there could be a Capricorn person that's significant. You could be working with a Capricorn or very focused on a Capricorn person. But for those of you that felt stuck, um, that felt trapped or stuck within a particular situation, a relationship, an environment, with this Eight of Pentacles, though, you're working on it. The Eight of Pentacles is a worker energy. This is someone who's concentrating, someone who's investing a lot of time and energy and effort into something. So... You know, what it is that you're putting effort into, even if you feel stuck or trapped within a situation, that hard work and that effort, it's going to pay off. Um, you actually have, let's see, you have a couple or few, excuse me, you have a few eights here in this spread, and then you also have judgment. So these are all karmic energies, karmic a karmic number for me. So, it, you know, even if you're dealing with like a karmic situation here, some of you might need to cut that karmic cord for some of you. Some of you are working very hard in order to move forward or gain back control. And I feel that your hard work is going to pay off. Uh, maybe some of you have even felt stuck within like a job situation. Maybe you've been trying to advance, but maybe you have been looked over or you felt like there was some sort of unfairness there. Um, just stay focused on your work. Continue on working hard. There could be news that's coming in uh, quite suddenly that you weren't expecting. We're starting with the Queen of Swords, which the Queen of Swords is very sharp. She's organized. Uh, she's very detail-oriented. And with this Queen of Swords and then this Devil here, for some of you, absolutely, you could be using that sword to free yourself here from whatever situation this is with the Queen of Swords looking directly at judgment. Some of you could be hearing the call for action, definitely taking action, using this sword. You could also be going through like some sort of awakening. Uh, you might be making a decision here. Very significant decision if you're a Libran that is making a decision. Uh, but some of you could be making a decision to leave a company, to leave a relationship, to leave an abusive situation. Uh, judgment is a healing energy. So this is you rising up from this. This is you healing. I think, though, with the Seven of Pentacles underneath it, this is you basically figuring things out. Maybe some of you have invested a lot into something into a particular matter and you just feel as though something's not going anywhere things are not progressing the way you would like them to and so this is you basically figuring out exactly what you're going to do what your next move is going to be and because we have the two of cups here this could be around a partnership could be a love relationship, but also a business partnership, a friendship, a family relationship. For some of you, you know, you're determining if this is worth it. Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? You're making this decision.
And for those of you that are leaving a relationship, you know, it, it's quite possible that there's new love that's coming in. Um, because we do have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is like my single independent card. Uh, this person, you know, they have all their needs met financially. They're in a really good place. For me, this is a very independent energy. This person has status, um, but this is a very independent energy. So for some of you, this could be what you're moving towards. This is maybe what you're making a decision about. And already, though, we have a new beginning that's coming in with the Ace of, of Wands, which can be new love, definitely. It's mirroring this Two of Cups um, with the Ace of Wands can be a very strong physical uh, chemistry here, very strong attraction. It can be that spark. So if you're, if you're getting out of a relationship, Libra, you could be meeting someone or even meeting up with someone from your past because across we have the Six of Cups with the Ace of Wands and the, the Six of Cups can represent someone from your past. So for some of you, this could be even like an ex or you know um, an old friend, someone that you haven't seen for many years. So for some of you have maybe new love that's coming in already. And the Six of Cups for me is one of my soulmate cards. You also have the Two of Cups here in the spread. So for those single Librans, you could be getting into a new relationship. Maybe, you know, this is you, the Nine of Pentacles, very independent, doing your own thing, maybe very focused on your career. And then all of a sudden you have maybe someone that's coming in from the past. And you know, with this devil, the devil, you know, it's not always negative, like many of the other cards in the tarot, you know, the they can go in either direction. And so with the devil, in this sense, this can just represent that very strong temptation, um, that very passionate, lusty energy. There could be a very strong desire here. But then with this Eight of Swords energy, this can be someone who's holding back, someone who's too nervous to move forward. It can even be someone who, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you don't have enough confidence um, or self-esteem. You know, with the Eight of Swords, this can be a hindrance, definitely. So for some of you, maybe you met someone, there's this very strong desire, um, but this could be you too nervous to move forward. But you can change this energy. This is why we have readings. Um, so you can see what's coming up and you can do something about it. So if you're single and you're meeting someone with the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, um, this could be a soulmate relationship, definitely. And there could be just a very strong physical chemistry here. For other Librans, um, this could be a love triangle for a very, very small number of you. But if that's the case, I think that you're working on maybe making a decision or kind of getting out of that situation. And then for other Librans, this could be a legal matter. Uh, you might be in the process of maybe waiting on like some sort of legal decision. or even a decision um, within like the workplace, the company that you work for, you could be waiting on a decision, waiting on news from them. Just again, stay focused, work hard. It's going to pay off. Uh, and overall, I don't think it's going to be an, a bad week whatsoever. Uh, if you're already partnered, you're in a relationship, For those of you that are already partnered, it could be, honestly, it could be an amazing week for you guys. A very passionate week. Um, some of you might be working a little bit too much, and so uh, some of you might need to, you know, put family first or, or put your significant other's needs first, uh, and maybe in some way kind of free yourself or unchain yourself from the workplace at least a little bit. Uh, you know, take maybe an extra day, a long weekend, or just find some time for your family or significant other. But let's pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Libra. 
what else does Libra need to know for this upcoming week? Libra. Additional guidance for Libra. Also, happy birthday, Libra. If you have a birthday this week, happy birthday. Okay, we have sensitivity. You are becoming interestingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. This resonates very much because we have this devil as the overall energy, which, you know, he can represent harsh environments, relationships, situations, anything that's no longer serving you, anything that's not good for you. Um, so this is quite interesting. Some of you are very sensitive. So definitely, you know, be cautious. Um, yeah, look for those sensitivities. For some of you, it could even be something in the work environment. Just pay attention to things like that. Um, some of you are becoming more, more sensitive. Uh, and, and, and some of you maybe in some way need to put your, your health, your needs first. Um, definitely. Okay, Libra. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.